And welcome to your Go Market Update for today, the 7th of July 2022, with Mike Smith, Senior Analyst at Go Markets. Let's have a look at what's happening with the news today, with about an hour of the ASX still to go. Of course, overnight we saw small gains on Wall Street across all of the major indices, with some follow through on the previous two positive sessions on the NASDAQ. It's been quite rare. We've had three sessions on the spin, which have been positive. There is still some caution there, obviously, with some jobs data due. And there was some accommodative, uh, though progressive, comments from the Fed in their minutes, which also helped markets a little bit. Uh, US futures are slightly to the upside in Asia at this stage, uh, trading towards the highs of the session. Uh, still only just above neutral. And we're seeing Asian indices follow that US lead all slightly higher. The ASX is up around 0.4%. European futures are pointing to a mildly higher open also at this stage, but there does appear just to be a, a little positivity in the markets today across the board. The US dollar index continued its march upwards yesterday and gold looks bearish and shot down to 1740, down almost 20% from its highs of a few weeks ago all also continues to dot which is great news it is testing hundred dollars on the wti contract and about 102 on the brent crude contract cfd vix is also responding positively as well down to around about the 28 level and monthly lows and coppers paused its drop a really strong pin bar on the daily chart yesterday suggesting we're going to pause at this level and perhaps even move up a little bit after really what's been a, an obliteration of base metal prices over the last couple of weeks particularly uh, bitcoin is managing to hold 20k support has been tested regularly over the last few days this week uh, but is heading back towards 21k at this stage but really still very much within a tight trading range uh, we had Australian trade balance numbers out and they beat expectations, but the jobs data out of the US is the headline act today. We've got the ADP jobs report, which is usually out on a Wednesday, but out on Thursday due to the Independence Day long weekend. And we've got weekly jobs as well. Also, of course, we've got German industrial production later this afternoon and the mother of all data points and on-farm payrolls tomorrow. So really, despite that positivity, we would suggests that the market is relatively medium to high risk still that non-farm payrolls data as well as the data out tonight will be interesting but then of course next week we move into the next round of us earnings reports and that inflation number that comes across the wires in a few days time is going to be vital in terms of sentiment going forward couple of charts of interest today to have a look at uh, we're having a look at gold chart here you can see on the long-term daily chart we're down to lows not seen since september 21 and if we just bring this in you can see there was a bounce off that 1725 potential support level slightly higher in asia today at best we can possibly hope for a move back up to around about this 1766 level which was the close from a couple of days ago at this stage, this looks just like a short covering rally and much will be dependent on what happens with the USD tonight. If we look at a short time frame, you can see it is just climbed up a little bit in Asia, but still quite a distance to go and certainly no massive jump higher at this stage. On the ASX, we talked about Ansel a couple of days ago and we thought it was worth following through on this. This has now broken through this 2290 resistance and looks as though it may continue to see some buying pressure up around 4% to around about this 2450 level. That looks pretty good to go in terms of investor sentiment at the moment. And nice to follow through on a chart we checked in on a couple of days ago. Trade safe and we'll see you again soon. Bye bye for now.